All right, what we're going to do is take a look at how to use Form Ranger to populate questions in a Google form based off a spreadsheet. And uh, the first way I'm going to do it is I'll show you like the static way to do it, but then I'll show you how to do it dynamically so that uh, as people fill out your form, you can have session options removed once they've reached capacity. So uh, if you're signing up for a conference and you want to keep, you know, a max of 20 people in each room, you could do this. Or if you are doing a potluck dinner and you don't want um, three people to bring uh, meatloaf, you can also use this for that as well. So the first thing you want to do is create a form and here I have a name and then I have a multiple choice question. All right, you can use drop down if you wanted to. There's a, a couple of options. And what I've done in, I've made a template spreadsheet and this is found at tinyurl.com slash form ranger template. Um, we don't really need it for this case, but we're going to use it for the option where we eliminate choices. From the form, when you go to the responses, generate that spreadsheet, all right? And then it's right here. You can see name, session one topics. You can create another tab at the bottom here called choices. And let's say we're running sessions um, for a conference and they're gonna be Google Docs 101, Google sl Slides 101, and Google Sites 101. Form Ranger will allow you to populate this question based off of this, this column here. So what we'll do is, um, see this puzzle piece here? That's for add-ons. You can, when I click on it, I have Form Ranger. If you don't see that, go to the three dots over here and uh, go down to add-ons and install it. So I'll click on this and I'll go to Form Ranger and I'll start this process. It's pretty straightforward. Um, What it's doing right now, it's going through my form and searching for questions that can be populated and it found this one. It's found the session one topics question and it's saying populate from a range. So let's go ahead and find a range where it can populate those choices from and it's saying select a sheet. Now it's gonna show you my most recent ones here and I am using the form ranger form responses. So let's click on this. And the range I'm gonna use is I'm not in the form responses one. Remember I put these choices on the choices tab down here. So let's change this to choices. And the column header is sessions. There is only one column, so that's fine. And let's call this choices. Save and populate. All right, and now when I go to look at this form, there are my choices. All right, and you could use this uh, if you have a lot of repetition or you do this process a lot, it might save you some time instead of typing all of those up. The other way to do this is to get these sessions just to disappear once they've reached capacity. I'm going to go back to this template here. All right, and it's tinyurl.com slash form ranger template. And in here, you're going to edit columns A and columns C once you copy them to your spreadsheet, the form ranger form spreadsheet. So I'm going to click on this arrow and I'm going to go to copy to. And under recent, I should see that form ranger form responses. Hit select. Hit okay. Now I'm done with this. I don't need to work in here anymore. Close it out actually. And here's that, that sheet right here, copy of session one choices. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to put my choices for the sessions in this first column A. So that was Google Docs, Google, let's say Slides, and Google Sites. All right, and you can see they're being populated over here. If I'm not using these, just get rid of them, hit backspace. Um, the formula is pretty straightforward. Uh, what it's saying is count the number of times a2, so count the number of times you see Google Docs in this form responses tab, all right? Now notice this is looking in column C on the form responses tab, and that's where my sessions are. All right? You might have to change those if your sessions are in a different column, all right? And the capacity piece is saying, uh, if I want this to be at 20, uh, once this number of counts becomes the same as, as this, don't show this anymore, all right? 
And for this problem, for this example, we're just going to put the capacities at three so we can see this happening. All right, so let's go back to our form and I'm going to delete these choices out of here. I'm going to run form ranger again. And it's going to say session one topics, it'll find it, but we want to do this over again. Let's populate from a new range. So the sheet is the same one, the form ranger responses. The range, we're going to that copy of session one choices tab at the bottom and the column header, this is important. It's the form ranger session one's title titles. So that's this second column. These are the ones that are going to disappear once capacity is reached. And once they disappear, uh, you don't want them to show up on your form anymore. Let's call this um, sessions, sessions, it's fine. Now, the other part of this is you want this to auto repopulate after after every form submission. So it wants to run through and generate these options every time someone submits. Okay, so let's see this in action. Let's go to preview. And I'm Dan, and I'm gonna sign up for Google Docs. I'm gonna hit submit. Now over here, you'll see I submitted for Google Docs, and there's one registered. There's two seats available, the capacity is three. So let's do this again. And I'm going to sign up for Google Docs again. And let's do it one more time. Okay. Now, the registered amount was reached, the, uh, reached the capacity. And so now this doesn't show up anymore. All right. So when I repopulate this, you'll notice there's only two options now. All right. If you want to get some of those back, if you need more people to sign up, just change this capacity up to five and you'll get two more seats. All right.